Good evening and welcome here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are set to square off against the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. I am your host today, Robert Brooks, along with RJ Brooks, the RB Squared show will be today. And RJ, uh, we've... It looks like this Davis Wolf, you know, there's been a couple of times. We've played them a couple of times already this year, and uh, the Leopards have come away with wins in both games. Um, the lead shrunk a little bit there in the second game, but, uh, you know, most folks looking at a schedule or looking at those scores would think, ah, this is going to be an easy game. But watching these Wolves practice out there and seeing the intensity that they had in the dugout pregame, uh, Looks like uh, Leopards may have a, a little bit of a fight on their hands. Yeah, I think they're ready to go. I mean, it's regional time. I mean, they're not going to come out here, and I don't think they're going to slack. I think they're going to come out here and do their best. And, yeah, we beat them both times, but like I said, it, it's playoff time. So, absolutely a good game. And, and that Davis Wolves coach down there, uh, he's been around baseball a, a time or two, and, and he definitely knows how to strategize and, and get those boys prepared. So, Leopards better be on guard and better be uh, ready to uh, ready to defend those those two wins that they've already had because you know um, unless we win here those two wins aren't really worth anything right. from from the previous two wins so with that being said um, yeah, we can. Um, oh, and, and also, a reminder, if we do win this game, we play at 4 o'clock. If we lose, we play at 6.30. We do not know who we're playing uh, in the next game yet until we win this one or loss, whatever. So, And we'll just kind of go over the lineup here right quick. For the Davis Wolves, the one-hole hitter is going to be Rawls, number 13, two-hole hitter, number 6, Linville, three-hole hitter, number 10, Fetty and four hole hitter number two Parker, five hole number 12 Rawls, six hole number 11 Clinton, seven hole number four Melton, eight hole number seven May, nine hole Barnett. And for the Leopards, I'm not sure who's going to be starting, uh, who's going to be our pitcher there for. The Davis Wolves didn't get that far, but I know Caleb Entz will be starting out for the Leopards. Quick lineup for the Leopards. Your one-hole hitter number be number 16, Bentley Kessler. Two-hole hitter number three, Ty Ferguson. Three-hole hitter number 11, Tucker Morse. Four-hole hitter number 21, like Bo it. Blankenship, five-hole hitter, number eight, Ramage, Aiden Ramage, six-hole hitter, number 22, Clayton Sanders, seven-hole hitter, number 10, Brody Ramming, eight-hole hitter, number four, Mitchell Henson, nine-hole hitter, number one, Caleb Entz. That will be your starting lineup for the Leopards and for the Wolves. Again, folks, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. They're prepping the field, and we're going to have one heck of a ball game on our hands here coming up.
Hi, I'm Ben Long, an agent with Oklahoma Healthcare Exchange. During this year's annual enrollment, we wanted you to know that you have a local solution for all your Medicare and health insurance needs. Our agents live and work throughout the entire great state of Oklahoma. Whether you're in Lindsay, Ardmore, Lawton, McAllister, or any of the major metropolitan areas. Give us a call to learn more at 855-786-8343. Again, that phone number is 855-786-8343. And we look forward to hearing from you. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Shelton with Lindsay Family Dentistry. I'd like to thank all the patients we've been able to serve over the years. For those of you who are unhappy with your smile, tired of having dental pain, crooked or missing teeth, or loose fitting dentures, at Lindsay Family Dentistry, we can care for all your dental needs, including cosmetic dentistry, crown and bridge, root canals, braces, Invisalign, conventional implants for tooth replacement, and mini diameter imp implants for denture stabilization. Our braces fee starts at $4,500, and for those of you with poor fitting dentures, we can place six mini diameter implants on the upper for $3,600 and four mini diameter implants on the lower for $2,600. To schedule your consultation, stop by the office at 102 Southwest 7th Street, Lindsay, Oklahoma, or give us a call at 405-756-4093. As a 1997 graduate of Lindsay High School, I'd like to take the time to say Go Leopards.
Hi, I'm Ben Long, an agent with Oklahoma Healthcare Exchange. During this year's annual enrollment, we wanted you to know that you have a local solution for all your Medicare and health insurance needs. Our agents live and work throughout the entire great state of Oklahoma. Whether you're in Lindsay, Ardmore, Lawton, McAllister, or any of the major metropolitan areas. Give us a call to learn more at 855-786-8343. Again, that phone number is 855-786-8343. And we look forward to hearing from you.
And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, as your Leopards are set to square off against the Davis Wolves in the regional tournament. Once again, I am your host, Robert Brooks, here along with my son, RJ. You have got the RB Squared show today. And it looks like Caleb Entz, as we predicted, will be your first pitcher up for the Leopards, as the Leopards will be the home team. And uh, I think it looks like Clayton Sanders is going to yeah. pull catching duties. I think it looks about the same. Not a lot of different out here. Bo Blankenship over as usual at first. Brody Ramming second. Bentley Kessler short. And looks like Tucker Morse is going to be over there on third. Your outfield, very familiar. Ty Ferguson out there left. Mitchell Henson center. And Ramage out there in right field. First up to bat for the Wolves will be number 13, Rawls. Is it? Absolutely beautiful day here, RJ. Um, unlike uh, the weather they're getting down south. Say also, this lineup right here is, it always works. I, I like this lineup. Leading off the wall, the top of first inning will be the catcher number 13. First pitch called the ball. Ints winds up the release. Second pitch called strike. 1-1 one, one the count. Pitch called ball. We'll bring the count to 2-1. and one. Once again, we're just getting this ball game going for those tuning in. Pitch away. Going to be knocked over to Tucker Morse at third. Morse is going to make the routine out uh, on the connection with Bo Blankenship and Blankenship is down uh, it looks like looks like he's going to be alright uh, the runner there he uh, came in a little aggressive there came in a little aggressive I don't know why but I get it. Uh, get Coach saved. Edwards not real happy about it either. He, he's good. So Blankenship we'll able to get up on his own. Well, with a little bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, but that's just how it goes. This is. I wouldn't exactly call this a rivalry, but these two squads have squared off before uh, in, in the in the in the regular season, and uh, you know there might be a little. Little, it might get a little chippy at times, so something to look at. But that will be out number one. Next up to bat for the Wolves, the two hole hitter to Linville. Pitch away. Called strike. 0 1 to count. Again, one out. Pitch in the air. Swung, that's going to be fouled away. That'll be strike number two. Oh, two now to count. Both both crowds are getting into it a little bit here. You, you got to like that. I do like that. I just hope our uh, dugout gets rowdy. Fouled away way out there. Keep counting at 0 and 2. Ints. Ints and Sanders making their final communication before the ball's released. Pitch is in the air. It's going to be fouled away over the right field fence. Definitely had some length there. Just didn't, uh, didn't quite straighten out for Linville. Not a lot of wind here today, too, and then Pitch away, called strike. That'll be strike number three, out number two. 
for the Wolves. That's going to bring up the three-hole hitter, number 10, Fetty. Fetty, I believe, is also the uh, first baseman for the Wolves. Pitch in the air on the way. Called strike. That'll bring the count to 0-1. You know, this is, this is very characteristic of Ince. Uh, we watched him last Friday over in Chickasha. Pitch away. Yeah, he uh, he's definitely found his rhythm. All ball, yeah. one one the count, and and in, that's something else that's very characteristic of Vince. He always finds his rhythm early in the game. Yeah, I don't take him very long. Pitch is swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two, one two the count now for the Wolves and. Pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Out number three. That'll close out the top of the first inning scoreless. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back here, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to start the bottom of the first inning scoreless so far. First up to bat for the Leopards, your one-hole hitter, number 16, Bentley Kessler. Kessler having lots of luck here lately. Not so much this time. First pitch is going to be swung out and missed. That'll be... Bring the count to 0-1 for Kessler. So our defense is just fine. If we can get our bats hot, I think uh, we'll come up with a win today. Pitch in the air on the way. Look to be outside. Ump agrees. That'll bring the count to 1-1. One and one. Pitch going to be popped up just over the shortstop. He calls it, gets it. That'll be out number one. Makes it look easy. I Ferguson now number three, two hole hitter. Number left fielder. Pulling pitching duties for the Wolves, number 16, Martin. Pitch away. It's going to be popped up over to center. Center fielder Ooh. able to get up underneath it. That'll be out number two. RJ, that's two quick outs yeah. for the Leopards in the bottom of this second uh, first inning. And he almost, if he just kept, if he was pausing there, if he would have just stayed a little longer, I think it would have got by him. And, uh, and uh, that would have been base hit for him, but he saw the ball and got it. Good, so good job by the uh, center fielder out there. And that's going to bring up your three hole hitter, number. Tucker Morris, pitch away. It's going to be popped up. Center field, center fielder 
trying to get up underneath it. Very successful, and that will be out number three. Just a quick bottom of the first inning there, RJ. For you folks watching at home, stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where the your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to start the top of the second inning scoreless. First up to bat for the Wolves, four-hole hitter number two, Parker. First pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be called strike. That'll bring the count to 0-1. Parker waiting on the pitch. Pitch is released in the air. That was going to be called strike there. number two. That was a good pitch there by Ann. So right down the middle. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier, Ants always finds his rhythm early in the game. Next pitch is away. That's going to be called a ball. That's going to bring the count to one and two. Parker. Waiting on the pitch. Pitch in the air on the way, way outside. That's going to be ball number two. Two, two now to count. Pitch away. It's going to be knocked over to left field. Ferguson's going to snatch it up. Gets it into Kessler there, the shortstop. They're going to hold the runner up there at first. That's going to bring up your five-hole hitter for the Wolves, number 12, Rawls. Pitch away. It's going to be a going to be a strike as Rawls attempted a bunt there that rolled out. It's a good idea. Just uh, foul the way. And Ince is going to check the runner over there on first. Keeping him honest. And he's going to check him again. You know, RJ, that's something that I don't, I've don't. i noticed that Entz uh, probably does a little bit more often than some other pitchers. He'll, he'll uh, try, go for the throw down there. Pitch in the way. It's going to be bunted. Entz is going to snag it up. Gets it over to, is that the Brody ramming there on first? That'll be the first out of the inning. Nevertheless, that's going to advance Parker over to second. Corners are going to be empty. Just nice work there by the Leopards um, doing what they needed to do to get that first out. And that brings up the six-hole hitter, number 11, Clinton. First pitch called the ball, 1-0 the count. Again, one out. Lone runner out on second. Next pitch away. It's going to be popped up. Sanders, the catcher, gets underneath it. 
That'll be out number two. And just absolute beautiful work there by Sanders to, to recognize what was going on and be able to get back and get up underneath it with the cloud coverage here. Uh, it's got to be pretty difficult to locate that ball. Oh, yeah. Sanders, he, he's senior, so, I mean, he's been there, done that a million times. He knows what he's doing. And that's going to bring up the seven-hole hitter, number four, Melton, for the Wolves. First pitch away. Sanders unable to secure it, but able to hold the runner up there at second. And um, I believe that's Parker out there. Was definitely thinking about jumping over to third, but not a good idea with Sanders there pulling catching duties. Next pitch away. Call the strike. 1-1 one, one now the count with two outs. That's something that uh, Clayton's good at, keeping the runners on base. Um, like I said, I mean, he's very, very talented at catcher. Yeah, Sanders, you know, uh, we all know he, he he's uh, headed off to, to play at the next level at Redlands next year. Next pitch away, and it is going to hit the batter, number four, Melton. And that'll advance Melton over to first. That's going to put runners on first and second with Melton over on first and Parker on second. And that's going to bring up the eight-hole hitter, number seven, May, for the Wolves. At this point, the only empty base on the field is third. Pitch away. It's going to be a line drive. Just barely missed Just that. outside of third, Morse unable to secure that ball. That's going to load the bases, folks. Out here. Davis is uh, definitely threatening here, though. That'll bring up the nine-hole hitter, number three, Barnett. Again, bases loaded, two outs, ends on the bump. But, RJ, this is something that, that – it, it, it just doesn't r rattle a pitcher like Ince. It says, uh, In fact, I think it probably makes him play a little bit better. It probably does. Pitch away. A little inside. Almost hit the uh, batter. And obviously called a ball. I think it probably missed him by maybe an inch. Next pitch away. It's going to be fouled away. 1-1 one, one now the count. Again, two outs. Base is loaded. You know, RJ, this is, this is where you, you don't want any slip-ups, but if you're Coach Edwards, you're, you're comfortable knowing that, that Ince is out there on the bump. Pitch away. It's going to be outside. That'll be a ball. That'll bring the count to 2-1. Next pitch away. Going to be called a strike. 2-2 two, two now the count. And Sanders and Entz making their final communication here. Pitch. Release going to be popped up over to second. Kessler is going to be out. Is going to be able to advance the ball over to Ramming, and that'll be out number three for the Wolves, and that's going to close out this second inning scoreless. The Wolves left a, a lot of points out there on the field, but that's okay, RJ. We'll, we're going to be happy with that. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
Three, two, one. Welcome back to Perry, Oklahoma, where we're going to start off the bottom of the second inning with your four-hole hitter, Bo Blankenship. First pitch way low, called ball, 1-0 the count. If you're a fan of Leopard Baseball, you know... Bo likes to swing that left-handed bat. Next pitch, call the ball. 2-0 now the count. Next pitch away. Call ball. That'll bring, bring the count to 3-0. And Blankenship, definitely one of our more consistent oh, yeah, batters. Next year. He a uh, consistent batter, and he's also a really good first baseman, too. And that'll be a strike. Look low to me. Looked it looked like the twin sister to uh, pitch number three there, but Ump's a little bit closer than I am, so I'm going to go with what he says. Next pitch is away. Called a strike, and, and again that one looked uh, low and inside, but uh, that's going to bring us to a full count. Next pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Out number one for number 16, Martin. As Martin records his first strike out of the game, that'll bring up Ramage to bat for the Leopards. First pitch called a strike. Oh, one the count. You know, one thing that I notice about this this pitcher here, he likes more of an up tempo uh, game. You know, he doesn't waste a whole lot of time between pitches. Next pitch is away, called strike. That was a good square up there by the catcher. Uh, that looked outside, but the catcher really squared it up really nice, and the ump called strike. So it doesn't work in our favor, but a good job there by the catcher. O to the count, pitch away. And look to be way outside to me, but you just going by how uh, you know the the history of this umpire. We 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 definitely want to wait until we see what he throws up. That one was going to be a, a little blooper over to third. That'll be out number two. And that will be the second out of the inning for the Leopards. That's going to bring up number 22, Sanders, to bat for the Leopards. And Leopards getting a little bit of a slow start today. Looked like the bats were going to heat up and then just kind of fell apart. Pitch away. Called strike. 0-1 the count. Next pitch away. Going to be fouled away, and that'll bring the count to 0-2 with two outs. Bases looking like ghost towns. Next pitch. Going to be fouled out down the first baseline. That'll leave the count at 0-2. Popped up the shortstop under the ball. It'll be out number three. And once again, the Wolves wasted no time sending the Leopards back to the dugout. That's going to close out the second inning scoreless. With that being said, we're going to take one more quick break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves in the regional tournament, hoping to find a way to the state tournament. Leading off for the Wolves will be the one-hole hitter, number 13, Rawls. First pitch. Going to be called a ball, 1-0 the count. Next pitch away. Going to be inside. Nevertheless, swung at and missed. That'll bring the count to one and one. Number six, Linville over there waiting his turn for the Wolves. Count now one and two. Fouled away there. Next pitch away. It's going to be popped up to center. Mitchell Henson able to get underneath it. That'll be out number one for the top of the third inning. You ain't getting past uh, Henson out there. He's got too much speed. Ain't going to happen. And you're exactly right. <laughs> Henson was able to cover a lot of ground. And, and, you know, there's some center fielders that just wouldn't have been able to make that catch. But Henson made it look easy. First pitch. Going to be called a strike for number six, Linville. A one to count with one out. Next pitch away. Called the ball. Looked like a strike. Looked very similar to some of the pitches we were seeing at the top of this third inning, but. Uh, and that's going to be a line drive past Ince. Over second, all the way out to Henson, who's going to field the ball, and they're going to hold the runner up there at first. That'll bring up the three-hole hitter, number 10, Fetty, for the Wolves. I don't think Henson <laughs> expected that one. He kind of didn't see it coming. Yes, is going to check the runner over at first. Pitch away. And I'm still having a hard time figuring this up out. That's going to be called the ball. 1-0 the count now with one out. I think it was just maybe a little bit high, but it looked like a strike. It hit the corner, I think. And Sanders out. No. Try, tried, attempted the throw down out there, was able to connect that was a close one. with ramming. But unable to get the job done. Uh, but, you know, that's the good thing about having a catcher like Sanders there. Uh, it, it's going to be a 50-50 with, with a lot of your catchers. You're not going to have that type of odds. So maybe a little bit better odds if you've got Sanders out there catching. So that ball's going to be fouled away. That will bring the count to two and one. Corners empty. Lone runner out on second. <laughs> that held ball, I think it hit a car or something. I heard it pop. I hope it wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something. Two won the count, one out. And that foul ball brought to you by Nice Paint and Body. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two. Do two, two now the count. Ditch away. Looked good to me, but uh, it didn't matter. It, it, it didn't high. look good to the man that, that counts, so that's going to bring us to a full count with one out. Pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three, out number two. And that'll bring up the four-hole hitter, number two, Parker. I was about to say, I, I was about to call a uh, swing and a miss, and 
I didn't say it, but uh, yeah, swing and a miss. That's something that good uh, that Ince is good at, making people swing and miss. You know, and, and, and Ince just doesn't get rattled as he doesn't. showed us in the last inning. Pitch away. Ball strike. 0-1 oh, the count. In fact, I think Ince is, is the type of player that gets better. The more pressure he has put on him, the better he gets. More better. Ball's in the air, on the way, a little bit outside. Call the ball. 2-1 now the count. I think that's a Make good that 1-1, one, one, I'm sorry. I think that's a good thing because, you know, if he wants to go to college and play baseball, you're going to have a lot of pressure. So I think that's a really good thing that he performs good under pressure. Next pitch away. Once again, a little bit outside. 2-1 now the count. Two outs. Lone runner out there on second. Pitch away. It's going to be just over ramming there at second. Mitchell Henson's going to snag it up, throws it all the way into the catcher. Sanders, Parker able to make it all the way over to second base. And Linville will score for the Wolves. That's going to bring the score to 1-0 and oh for the Wolves. Curtis here. Courtesy runner, was that number? Oh, no, it's not. I think he was just giving his coach stuff. Oh, okay. I thought it was courtesy runner. And that's going to bring up your five-hole hitter, number 12, Rawls. First pitch away, outside, called ball, 1-0 the count. Two outs. Lone runner on second. Corners looking like ghost towns. Rawls waiting for the pitch. Pitch in the air. It's going to be popped up over to center. Mitchell Henson gets up underneath it, scoops it up. That'll be out number three. Leopards able to hold the Wolves down to only one point this inning. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back for the bottom half of the third inning. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Yeah, welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where the Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to start out the bottom of the third inning, first up to bat for the Leopards. Number 10, Ramming, who's going to bunt the ball. He's oh, unable. That was so close. Coach Lowry signaling safe. And that, that, that honestly looks safe to me. The um disagreeing, but you know, of the two guys, like I've said before, the umpire's words what counts. So Yeah. It it was very close, that's for sure. And that's gonna bring up number four, your eight hole hitter, Mitchell Henson. Henson well, able to get the ball. Grounder just past the shortstop all the way out to the center base, center field. And Henson able to get over to first base. And that's something you're going to be looking for Henson to steal second with that speed. That's going to bring up your nine-hole hitter, number one, Caleb Hint Ince, 
Hence also the pitcher. Leopard's not wasting any time. They want to get on base and score. Pitch on the way. And again, that looked inside to me, but uh, the ump's going to call it strike. 0-1 oh, the count. Henson over at first, threatening to steal second. <laughs> pitcher checks Henson over there. This this could get interesting, yeah. RJ. It's really hard to throw him out, that's for sure. It is. And you definitely don't want to slip up over there because he'll take off on you. And I think that's what he's hoping for. Hints down there, grinning from ear to ear. He knows what what Henson's up to. Oh, one the count. One out. Pitch in the air. It's going to be popped up just over third base as the shortstop able to snag it up. That'll be out number two. That's going to bring us back to the top of the lineup with your one-hole hitter, Bentley Kessler, number 16 up to bat for the Leopards. Lone runner out there on first is going to be Mitchell Henson. Really need to base it here. Just something in the gap. Just need something to get it, get, get, get them going. Pitch away. Golf ball. 1-0 the count. And Henson takes off to second. Second baseman unable to secure the ball. And just like that, Henson makes it look easy. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure the air probably did help them there, but I think Henson would still be safe. He's yeah, because the ball there. was way outside yeah. there. He was already halfway there when he was about to throw it. Yeah. 1 0 the count. Pitch away. It's going to be popped up over to left field for Kessler. Henson rounds third, decides he's not going to take his chance. That's going to cover the corners, folks. We've got Henson over on third. We've got Kessler on first. And now up to bat, Ty Ferguson for the Leopards. And, and folks, Ty's had a, had a really, really good year this year. So anything could happen right here. Base hit will score one. So. And with Henson out there, your speed demon, um, it's very possible. Two outs, corners covered, second empty, pitch away. Look to be in. Ump's going to call it a strike. Oh, one the count, two outs. Pitch away as Kessler steals second. 1-1 one, one the count, two outs. Yeah, Catcher was thinking about throwing it, but didn't have anybody there, so. I got to get a base hit here and see if I can do it. Next pitch away. It's going to be popped up to, s looks like it uh, may fall in the gap. Was unable to fall into the gap. Center fielder makes one heck of a play there, folks. That'll be out number three. Wolves are going to shut the Leopards down. And we're going to end the third inning. Wolves on top, one to zero. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball here on the Leopard Sports Network.
Welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are going to start the top of the fourth inning down by one. First pitch away, called strike. Oh, one the count. Up to bat four. The Wolves. This is going to be number 11, Clinton. Next pitch away. It's going to be a blooper over to third. Tucker Moore snags it up. Gets it over to Bo Blankenship on first base. That'll be out number one. And the Leopards are getting getting fired up here, RJ. Yeah. So, I mean, this defense is great, but uh, I got our bats hot. I think last uh, uh, last inning, I think our bats were hot. Just uh, couldn't score any. That's going to bring up the seven hole hitter number four, Melton, for the Wolves. First pitch away. Luckily, no goes face. <laughs> between the legs of Sanders, the catcher, and the umpire. One zero, the count. Pitch away. It's going to be a foul away. And a nice painting body looking for some business out there in the parking lot as we hear glass rattle. 1-1 one, one the count. One out. Pitch away. It's going to be swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two, bringing the count to one and two. I'm sure he's had a lot of cars that got hit by a baseball. <laughs> Next pitch away. It's going to be a blooper over to third. Tucker Moore snags it up, gets it to Bo Blankenship over at first. That'll be out number two. That's two outs in a row. The connection between Morris and Blankenship. Uh, look, if you're the Wolves, stay away from third base with that ball because they're going to get you out. Yeah, with Morris at third and Blankenship at first, it's just uh, you're going to get out. Pitch away. Called ball. 1-0 the count. Your eight-hole hitter, number seven, May up to bat for the Wolves. Next pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be a blooper two ints who connects with Bo Blankenship over at first. That'll be out number three. We're going to close out the top of the fourth inning. Wolves on top, one to zero. But that don't mean anything, RJ. Stay, stay tuned, folks. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to start the bottom of the fourth inning with your... It's going to be your three-hole hitter, number 11, Tucker Morris, up to bat for the Leopards. First pitch in the air, on the way, outside, called ball. 1-0 the count. Next pitch is away. Again, it's outside in the dirt. No question about it. It's going to be a ball. 2-0 now the count. Next pitch away. Once again, outside and low. 3-0 the count. Very uncharacteristic of this pitcher. Next pitch. That's going to be ball number four. That's going to send Tucker Morris over to first base. That's going to bring up Mr. Consistency, Bo Blankenship, for the Leopards.
Also, uh, you know, played against Blackwell. He was also sacrificing a lot. Pitch away. Blankenship able to make the bunt down the third baseline. He's and Tucker Morris able to get all the way over to third. Tucker's going to take off for home, and Morris is going to score. That's going to tie the ball game 1-1. One, one. And all the excitement, Blankenship was thrown out over at first, but a couple of errors there put some points on the board for the Leopards. That's definitely going to be a replay. Ramage pops the ball up to center field, and the left fielder able to get up underneath it. That's going to be May for the Wolves. That'll be out number two. That's going to bring Clayton Sanders up to bat for the Leopards. Sanders, your six-hole hitter. Now and your catcher. Sanders, another one we're going to miss here. Great catcher. Also a uh, good batter, too. He's also going with uh, Tucker Morris, I believe. First pitch called a strike. Oh, one the count. Bases. Correct? Tucker Morris and uh, Clayton going to the same college, right? They are. Catcher and pitcher both going to Redlands to take their game to the next level next year. But we're still going to try to squeeze a few more games out of them here. 1-1 one, one to count. Pitch away. Little. Oh, looked outside to me, but the ump calls it a now that strike. 1-2 one, the count. Two outs. All in the air, on the way. It's going to be fouled away. Third baseman. Ooh. Unable to get it. He Should have been out number three. In and out of his glove, RJ. And and uh, if you're a Leopards fan uh, and you had your fingers crossed and you were saying a prayer, we appreciate it because it worked. It worked. One, two, the count. Again, two outs. Bases completely empty other than Sanders there batting at home. Pitch is going to be way outside. Call the ball. Two, two, the count. Two outs. Trying to get Chan Sanders to the swing for it. Chase him a little bit, but Sanders smarter than that. And ball in the dirt. That's going to give us a full count for Sanders. Full count, two outs. And, and this, this is the type of situation a guy like Sanders loves to be in. Pitch away. It's going to be popped up into the gap. Pass second. All the way out to the center fielder, and that's going to put Sanders over on first and bring up number 10, Brody Ramming to bat for the Leopards. And looks like number 6, Parker Dotson, is going to be pulling courtesy duty He's going to be the courtesy runner for Clayton Sanders. Bitch away. It's going to be fouled away. 0 1 the count. Two outs. Pitch in the air. It's going to be fouled away. And it hit the press box. It was right above our head. I think I think if, if we didn't have that 10 there, it might have hit one of us. So. so, Parker, one of them that I think is very capable of starting next year. Got some speed. He's good at stealing, too. Pitch away. It's going to be popped up to center. And center fielder, yes. up, unable to snag it. Parker Dotson rounding third. 
He's on his way to home. And that's going to put the Leopards up two to one with ramming out on second. Corner's empty now. And that's going to bring up Mitchell Henson, number four to bat for the Leopards with two outs. Wolf's looking to looking to be a little bit rattled here, RJ. I would be, yeah. I mean, you're only down by one, but I would say, you know, Leopard's getting really hot on the bats right now. They do have two outs, so all I need is one more. Pitch in the air. Going to be called a ball. 1-0 the count. Next pitch away. Ramming, threatening to steal, unable to steal third, gets thrown out. That'll be out number three, but not before the damage is done. We're going to close out the fourth inning here. Leopards on top, two to one. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back. Welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to start the top of the fifth inning. Leopards on top, two to one, as the bats heated up in the bottom of that fourth inning for the Leopards. Ents out there on the bump. Definitely getting fired up here. Number three, Barnett up to bat for the Wolves. First pitch called a strike. Oh, one the count. Next pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be knocked over to right field. Ramage is going to snag it up, unable to secure it. Drops it, advances it in to Brody Ramy. And the runner's going to be held up at first. Barnett. That's going to put us back at the top of the Wolves lineup. With your one hole hitter, number 13, rolls to bat for the Wolves. Ince checks the runner over on first. Again, that runner's going to be number three, Barnett. Lone runner as second and third bases are empty. Pitch in the air on the way. Raw shows bunt. Unable to make it happen. 0-1 oh, the count. Raw's waiting the pitch. Ends taking his time. Pitch in the air on the way. Shows bunt again. Unable to connect. 0-2, oh, now they count. And it knows that he wants to bunt, so he's going to pitch a little higher, make a miss. Good job there by Enns. Pitch. Called ball. 1-2, now they count. And you got to think, Rawls was probably expecting it to be a little bit high that time. Rawls awaits the pitch. Ball's release going to be popped up over to left field. Ty Ferguson 
unable to secure the ball as it hits the bottom of the fence. That almost cleared it, too. It was just a few feet away, but uh, that's going to put runners on first and second. Rawls and Barnett, respectively, and that's going to bring up the two-hole hitter, number six, Linville. Pitch away. Called a strike. I looked inside to me, but uh, not gonna complain about. Hey, that. I'm not complaining about that one. Looks like his his you know strike zone is way different. Well, and he's got a little different view than we do. Second pitch swung at and missed. That's going to be strike number two. Yeah, I mean, usually when we're at home. I'm right behind the home plate. I can see it, but up here it's a little, little different angle, so hard to tell. We're a little offset to the right too today, so. I will say this ump is fair though. He's on both sides. Next pitch is going to be fouled away. And that dent brought to you once again by Nice Paint and Body Shop. A lot of cars getting hit today, huh? <laughs> it, ball's going to be popped up over to center. Mitchell Henson making it look easy. That'll be out number one, first out of the inning for the Wolves. How many? And yeah. that's. That's going to bring up number 10, the three-hole hitter, Fetty, for the Wolves. Yeah, I wonder how many uh, hints and how many out he has, because I bet he has a lot. He gets most of them there at the outfield. They definitely keep him bit busy. Nice little pitch there by Inch, right down the middle, a one count. Wind picking up a little bit here. Wind is. Next pitch away. Swung at and missed. It looked low. But, hey, we'll take it. 0-2 now. The count with one out. Runners on first and second. Tucker Morris, third baseman, lonely over there as there are no runners. Something good. Uh, that, that ends is good. I'm making people you know, chase the ball. Next pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be popped up over to right field. Ramage gets up underneath it. That'll be out number two. And a, and, and a just an absolutely beautiful catch there by Ramage, but he also followed it up with a beautiful throw in all the way over to Tucker Morris at third. And number two, the four-hole hitter Parker up to bat for the Wolves. Pitch away. It's going to be fouled away. And Jerry Neese at Neese Paint and Body anxiously awaiting that to go over the wall, but it doesn't. Instead, it hits the net. And no more business for Mr. Neese. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two. Oh, two the count with two outs. Two runners out there on first and second. Tucker Morse over on third. All alone. Next pitch called a ball. One, two the count now. And once again, that's the four-hole hitter, number two, Parker, up to bat for the Wolves. Call swing and a miss here. Pitch away. Oh, that's a little high. A little high. That's going to be a bring us to a count of two and two. With two outs. He's going to get him to chase here, I think. Pitch away. 
It's going to be popped up to center. Mitchell Henson makes his move, unable to get underneath it as the ball falls into the gap. Runner's going to make it across home. That's going to tie the ball game up 2-2. Two to two. Runners out on second and third as Parker gets the single, the double. Wait, was that Parker? Oh, that was Parker. My bad. Yeah. That's going to bring up number five, or the five hole hitter, number 12, Rawls. Got a little confused there on my lineup. That ball just really popped. There, it was a very well hit ball, and we got ourselves a tie ball game right here. Next pitch away, ball strike. Oh, one the count, two outs, runners on second and third. Rawls, next pitch is away, ball strike. Oh, two now the count. Next pitch, call the ball, 1-2, now the count. They're going to call time, get a little more time to think about this. Again, 1-2 the count. First base, the only empty base pitch away. Look to be inside. 2-2 two, two now the count. Rawls waiting the pitch. Pitch in the air. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Out number three. That's going to close out the top of the fifth inning. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back here to Prairie, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on Davis in the regional tournament here. We're going to start the bottom of the fifth inning all tied up at two. Your eight-hole hitter, number four, Mitchell Henson, will be the first up to bat for the Leopards. First pitch is in the air on the way. Henson pops it up to center. It's going to hit the wall. Henson able to make it all the way over to second for a nice little double there for Henson. And hopefully this hopefully this is a glimpse into our immediate future, RJ, as the bats looking to be heating up a little bit. That was another I mean, that was one of them that just I mean, if the wind would have been pushing it just a little bit, it would have cleared the bats. But a nice little extra base hit for Kessler. Or, sorry, sorry. Uh, Henson. Ball's going to be popped up over to the right, right fielder. Makes an absolutely impressive play out there as he dives to snag up the ball. 
And uh, no, regardless of which team that is, RJ, that's that's a heck of a play there for the right fielder. And we'll do the best we can after the game to maybe get that highlight and get it over to someone there with the with the Wolves uh, team. It's going to be out number one. I thought about it. I would have done a replay and put it on there, but I normally don't do replays for them. Essler. Nice little grounder there through the gap. Gets it way out to left field. That's going to tie up the corners. It's going to leave second base all lonely. And that's going to bring up the two-hole hitter, number three, Ty Ferguson, for the Leopards with one out. And, and you know, this could be the, the just the little spark that the Leopards needed to, to take off and win this ball game. A nice little grounder in the gap there by Kessler. Henson thought about making it home, but didn't have a quite enough time to do so. Kessler decides to head over to second, has plenty of time. So he'll be on second with Kessler, excuse me, Henson at third. Count 0-1. You know, O one, one the count. Ferguson wastes the pitch, fouls the ball away. Now that's going to bring the count to 0-2. Just need a base hit here and score one. I think Ty's one of them that can do it. We popped over to center field. Center fielder going to come up with the catch. Henson's going to steal over to home, and that'll score Henson. That'll make the score three to two. Leopards on top with uh, Kessler at second. Ty will be out. Be two outs away in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring up number 11, uh, third baseman. That being there, said, Morris. folks, if anybody needs any auto warranty, I've got I've got some of those people calling me. I can forward the call to you if you need you auto warranty. Your, Just send us a message and let us know. You your money, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> One o the count, two outs, pitch way high. Bring the count to two and o. Next pitch away. Called strike. 2-1 the count. Leopards on top. 3-2. to two. Pitch away. It's going to be fouled away. Catcher unable to get underneath the ball as the ball almost hits Tommy Ferguson. Probably within a foot of Tommy's head there. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Full count now for Morris. Still runner at second with two outs. Pitch away. Morris pops the ball up. Into the, almost into the gap. Left fielder able to get up underneath it. That's going to be out number three. But damage is done. Leopards on top, three to two. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the top of the sixth inning. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where the Leopards are taking on the Wolves here in the regional tournament. First pitch is going to be popped away for a foul. It's going to bring the count to 0-1 for the six-hole hitter number 11, Clinton. And still on the bump for the Leopards. Pitch away. Going to be called a ball. 1-1 the count. Number four, Melton, waiting his turn at bat. Next pitch away. It's going to hit the ground. It's going to be called a ball. 2-1 the count. And he's doing a pretty good job at pitching right now. I mean, like you said, it don't take him very long. He finds his rhythm, and he keeps it. Next pitch. Almost hit the batter. 3-1 the count. Oh, that was a nice pitch. That's going to be a full count. It looked like he was about to go outside and curve right inside. It was a really good pitch. Next pitch. In the air, on the way. It's going to be a grounder just past Kessler out there, the shortstop. Ty Ferguson backs him up, gets the ball in, holds the runner up over at first. And that will bring up number four, Melton, to bat for the Wolves. Ince checks the runner over at first. That's Clinton. Pitch in the air on the way. Melton shows bunt. Shows bunt. And a little confusing there as Coach Edwards even comes out. And that's very uncharacteristic as uh, the, the batter was showing bunt and he never pulled back. So That's on him. Uh, it w definitely should be on the batter. Um, and I'm not sure. It, like I say, it, you, you never see Coach Edwards argue a call and, and – uh, you know, if Coach Edwards takes to the field, it's it's something you definitely want to listen to. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, uh, do we have the replay? I did not. Did not replay it. Should have. Yeah. But yeah, no, he he didn't he pull back. It never pulled back. Yeah. Uh, hung in there with 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 it the entire time. So. And you could immediately see the umpire really the 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 the. The umpire here at home really wasn't sure what what to do or what to say, so he goes out and confides in his partner out there, and then, uh, uh, which in my opinion probably didn't have the best viewpoint. They're gonna call so it back. So. They're gonna call it back, and and you got to respect that. And 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 two, uh, RJ, if if you notice, the umpire went over, spoke with the. Davis coach, and I'm going to guess the Davis coach told him, said, hey, you messed up, and uh, you got to respect the Davis coach oh, yeah. for that. Yeah, uh, Not a lot of coaches would do that. Um, a lot of them would, would want to argue it yeah. and keep the out, yeah. or, or keep the runner on first, but... Uh, I respect, uh, very respectful there by him. Absolutely. That's going to bring the count to 0-2. And you also got to respect the ump for reversing his decision and doing the right thing. Next pitch away, swung at and missed. It's going to be number four, Melton. That'll be out number one. That's going to bring up the eight-hole hitter, number seven, May, for the Wolves. Pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be popped up. And and once again, it doesn't look like Nice Pain Body is going to get any business from that ball. Yeah, it looked like it probably dodged all the cars. 
pitch in the air. Call the ball. 1-1 one, one the count. One out. Lone runner on first. 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. one ball, one strike, one out, one runner on base number one. A lot of ones. <laughs> Pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two, bringing the count to one and two. And if you stay tuned long enough, you're going to find out who won the game. There's one more one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> End game one. Pitch little outside there. 2-2 two -two now the count. Okay, maybe it was a lot outside. I made the same mistake. I always say it's a little bit outside, but it's way out there. Ooh, and the pitch hits the batter, May. May takes it like a champ, though. Vance is over to first. That's going to bring up the nine-hole hitter, number three, Barnett. Leopard's going to take a, a little bit of a timeout as Coach Edwards is going to visit the mound. Probably not going to make a pitching duty or pitching change. No, nah, he's probably just gonna go just to him a he's bit, just going to settle Ents down a little bit and and uh, talk to talk to his players and and get them get you know just take a little time to get their head back in the game. And I mean, it's, he's doing a great job here. It's just it's not always perfect. He's gonna make some mistakes, and that happens. But yeah, the Leopard's doing a, a really good job here right now. Absolutely. Now with runners first and second, one out. And just for the record, folks, that was not a Lindsay fan. That was a Davis fan heckling the umpire. One out, top of the sixth inning. Pitch away in the air. Called strike. Oh, one to count. But I kind of don't blame them. These umps are... Number three, the nine-hole hitter, Barnett, up to bat for the Wolves. These umps are you know, making some mistakes, but they're at least fair. They're on both sides, so at least they're not just calling on one side. Pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two. Oh, two the count now. Pitch in the air, on the way, swung at, and missed. That'll be strike number three, out number two. That's going to bring us back to the top of the lineup for the Wolves with number 13, the one-hole hitter, Rawls. And it looks like Coach Edwards is going to make another visit to the mound. This time, he... Is going to bring some of the other players in. Not sure what. They're going to have a pitching change. And it looks like they are going to have a pitching change. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here. We're at the top of the sixth inning. Coach Edwards makes the pitching change as he brings in Ramage from right field and sends Caleb Entz back out to right field. And one hole hitter rolls up to bat for the Wolves with two outs. Pitch away. Little outside. Cold ball. 1-0 the count. Uh, I'm just going to call time. One oh the count, two outs. Next pitch away in the air, swung at, popped up, fouled away into the parking lot. One one the count, two outs. Pitch away. Little inside, but called strike. 1-1 one, one the count. Runners out there on first and second. Pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Out number three for the inning. Leopards on top, three to two. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back with the bottom of the sixth inning when we come back. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. And welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on Davis in the regional tournament. We're going to enter the bottom of the sixth inning. Leopards on top, three to two. Bats heating up in the last couple of innings. We're going to start off with your four-hole hitter, number 21, Bowl Blankenship. I like to call him Mr. Consistency. First pitch called ball, 1-0 the count. It was just a little bit inside. Pitch away. Once again, inside, 2-0 the lower. count. Next pitch away, swung at. It's going to be knocked over to far right. As Blankenship, just a beautiful at-bat for Blankenship. Able to get the single. Uh, I'm not sure what Coach Edwards is. I think they're going to go ahead and have a courtesy runner. For courtesy runner. Not sure why, but that means he can't have another courtesy runner or he will be out. And that's, they're going to bring out Parker Dotson to run for Bo Blankenship. That's going to bring up your four, correction, four-hole hitter, 
is number nine in this set of uniforms, Aiden Ramage. Again, Parker Dotson over on first for Bo Blankenship. He, and he is out. That'll be out number one. Coach Lowry arguing, but honestly, I agree with it. It looked like he was out. It, it looked like he looked like he dove just a little bit early there and one that which slowed down his slide. So it's going to be out number one again with Aiden Ramage up to bat for the Leopards. Pitch away. It's a little bit high. You owe the count. It was just a just a touch high. I think it's 3-0 out. Actually, it is 3-0. Next pitch in the air, on the way, way inside. And that's going to send Ramage over to first. That's going to bring up the six-hole hitter, Clayton Sanders. So far, Clayton having a pretty good outing today. Let's see if he can continue that. Pitch in the air on the way. Cold strike. 0 1 to count with one out. Lone runner Ramage over there on first as Parker Dotson was thrown out on the attempt to steal. Pitch in the air on the way, way outside. Called ball, 2-1 now the count. You know, I think you were right. Yeah, I think he just dove way too early and it uh, caused him to get out. And correction on that, that's going to be 1-1 one, one, the count. Clayton Sanders again up to bat for the Leopards. Pitch away. Ball's going to be fouled away. And it keeps going all the way out to I-35. One to the count with one out. Lone runner Ramage over on first. Next pitch. Going to be popped up to left field. Left fielder able to grab that one up. Makes it look easy, but it wasn't. That'll be out number two. It's going to leave Ramage over on first. He also have a good outfield, too. I mean, I thought that ball was going to drop, but he got there. I have a courtesy runner for the pitcher, Ramage. It'll be a 14 Hever. Can't remember his last name. It's going to bring up number 10 to bat for the Leopards. Your seven-hole hitter, Brody Ramming. Pitch in the air on the way. Called ball. 1-0 the count. Again, two outs. Leopards hanging on by a thread. 3-2. Next pitch on the way. It's going to be popped up to center. Wolves all over it. Make the out left fielder comes out of nowhere to make the out. That's going to close out the sixth inning. It's to the top of the third. If we can get three outs here, we'll win the game. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
Three, two, one. And welcome back. Once again, we're in Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves. Here in the regional tournament, leading off for the Wolves will be the two-hole hitter, number six, Lentonville. First pitch in the air on the way, foul the way. That'll be strike number one. Oh, one will be the count with no outs. Number 10, Fetty waiting his turn to bat. Next pitch on the way. Going to be a little low and outside. That'll be ball one, one, one the count. Linville waiting for the pitch. Pitch is in the air. Ball's going to be popped up. And it will hit the scoreboard. That'll be the first home run of the game. Leopard fans, unfortunately, it is not a leopard hitting it. It is a wolf. That's going to tie the ball game at three. As once again, Linville hits a homer. Over the fence, hits the scoreboard, would have cleared it by a country mile. I did replay that, though, so I'll go ahead and play it. And we got a replay. <laughs> and next up to bat for the Wolves, number 10, Fetty. Pitch in the air on the way, high, called ball, 1-0 now the count. Luckily, no one was on base. Pitch away. There. Swung at and missed. 1-1 one, one now the count. There's trash yeah. on the field now. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to stop the game for just a second. There's a trash bag floating across the field. One one the count. No outs. Pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be popped up over to right field. Ints. Gets underneath it. That'll be out number one. Now coming to the plate for the Wolves will be the center fielder, number two, Parker. That'll bring up number two, the center fielder and four-hole hitter, Parker, to bat for the Wolves. Bitch on the way. Swung at and missed. It'll be strike one. Oh, one will be the count with one out. Pitch away. Sanders unable to secure it way outside. Called ball. One, one the count with one out. Pitch in the air. Swung at a line drive over second base. That's going to put the runner on first. Parker making it look easy. Bats heating up for the Wolves. That's going to bring up number 12, the right fielder and five-hole hitter, Rawls. Got a nice lead out there at first. And oh. Ramage checks the runner over there on first. <laughs> Rawls waits the pitch. Pitch in the air. Call strike. 0 oh, 1 now the count with one out, one runner. On first. Are there any more ones? Nope. <laughs> Pitch away. Sanders was in the dirt. Sanders does secure it. Make sure the runner stays safe and secure over there on first. That'll be a ball. 1-1 one, one now the count. One out, runner at first. 
Here one at out. one. One runner on first. And Ramage is going to check the runner again over that on was first. Good. I think he barely got his hand on there just on time. Pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number two, one, two. Now the count. Tie ball game, so we we know we're going to go into the bottom of the seventh. Next pitch is away, way outside. Two, two. Now the count. Hits the dirt, way outside. No good job by Clayton there, not you know, not letting the ball go anywhere, keeping the runner at first. So yeah, and and and, and that tells you everything you need to know if you have any questions about how he's making it to the next level. Watching him here in this inning tells you it, it, it tells the story. Pitch away. It's gonna be fouled away. Two two now the count. Well, it was still two two. Two two, still the count. There you go. <laughs> Second and third base, looking like ghost towns. As Ramage communicates with Sanders, pitch in the air on the way. It's going to be a line drive over to Morris. Ah, oh, who throws the runner out at second? As ramming, unable to connect with Bo Blankenship as there was an error over there on first, which sends the runner on over to second. Nevertheless, we got two outs here. Corner's empty. Lone runner out on second. And that's going to bring up the six-hole hitter, number 11, Clinton, for the Wolves. Time called. Clinton makes some adjustments. Pitch on the way. Called ball. 1-0 the count. Next pitch on the way. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number one. One one the count. Corners. Empty. Lone runner out on second. Pitch away. Called strike. One two the count. Strike away. Clinton waits the pitch. And time called on the mound. And again, one, two, the count with two outs. Pitch away, way outside. Called ball, 2-2 two -two now the count. 2 balls, 2 strikes, 2 outs. Lone runner out on second. A lot of twos now. And Clinton waiting the pitch. Calls time. Calls time again. Communication being made between pitcher and catcher. Pitch away, way inside. That'll bring us to a full count. Almost hit Clinton, which could have been catastrophic at this point, but... Again, full count. With two outs, lone runner on second, pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike. Fouled back. And it was fouled back. It looked to me like it, the ball was way outside. Yeah. 
But I guess when the way it tipped it, still have a full count and, and good job by Clinton there to managing to keep it a full count. Yeah. Um, and Clinton going to call time again. I'm not sure if it's his sleeve irritating him or what. Oh, Ooh, and Ramage hits the batter. That's going to send Clinton to first. And Coach Edwards is going to call time. He's going to make a visit out to the mound to talk to his pitcher a little bit. Obviously, no pitch changes here. Just, you know, go talk to him a little bit. Just Calm down. We're one out away from going to the bottom of seventh. And our bats are still hot, so I think we could pull it off. And. Coach Edwards has got. Looks like he's got ramming, Blankenship, Ramage, and Sanders out there. And we're going to get back to the ball game again. Seven-hole hitter for Davis, number four, Melton, up to bat. First pitch called the ball, 1-0 the count. Runners out on first and second. Next pitch on the way, called strike, 1-1 one, one now the count. Well pitch there by Ramage. Melton waiting the pitch. Ball's in the air. Almost hit him. We got lucky there that time. I think if he would have stayed leaned forward, it might have hit him in the elbow. 2 1 now the count. Two outs. Pitch away. Going to be. A grounder over to the pitcher, Ramage. That will be out number three. We're going to end the top of this seventh inning all tied up at three. And with that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back here to Perry, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Davis Wolves here in the regional tournament. We're going to enter the bottom of the seventh inning, all tied up at three. And it comes down to this 
final half inning. Mitchell Henson up to bat for the Leopards. Ball fouled away. The pitcher able to get the out. That'll be a quick out for the Leopards. It'll be the first out of the inning for the Leopards. And that's going to bring up nine-hole hitter, number one, Caleb Entz to bat for the Leopards. Pitch in the air. Going to be a line drive. There's Over the just past the shortstop. Unable to secure that ball as it takes a nice little bounce. Bounces right over his glove and sends Entz over to first. That's going to bring us back to the top of the lineup. And if you're Coach Edwards, you love this scenario. You're right back at the top of your lineup. You got a runner on first, and you've only got one out. You got Bentley Kessler, number 16, the one-hole hitter. And here we go. Pitch in the air, on the way. Called strike. Looked inside to me, but called strike. 0-1 the count with one out. Next pitch away. It's going to be a well-hit ball over to left field. Left fielder able to secure it. Gets it in to the shortstop. Leopards now have runners on first and second. Two hole hitter number three, Ty Ferguson, the left fielder, up to bat for the Leopards. Leopards only need to score one, and the ball game's over. RJ, yeah, base hit would be nice here, and I honestly know in Ferguson he can do it. And that's what I was about to say. If you're Coach Edwards, this is the guy you want up. Ferguson pops it up yeah. over to left field. That'll left fielder makes it look easy. That'll be out number two. Runners still out there on first and second. Kessler on first. Entz on second. And once again, if you're Coach Edwards, you like this scenario. You got your three-hole hitter, Tucker Morris, up to bat. Tucker's well capable of sending the ball over. Pitcher makes a smart move, throws a ball, 1-0 the count. And the last time, they actually walked him, so... Might expect that this time, but unfortunately, if you're a Wolf fan, you've got Bo Blankenship up to bat next, and he's the guy I like to call Mr. Consistency. So um, it's just a tough situation if you're the Wolf's coach. Yeah, you know, if you walk them, it's bases loaded. And like you said, blanket chip up to bad. So that's a really tough spot there for the Wolves. It is. You've got Tucker Moore as really well. You can walk him or you can pitch to him and hope like heck he don't, doesn't knock it over. Yeah. And then if you walk him, you've got Bo Blankenship. And, and I can almost guarantee you Bo is going to get you one across home. So. Yeah, you, uh, you might have two outs here, but still, like you said, Morris up to bat. So it's a tough spot. 1-0 the count. Pitch in the air, on the way, called strike, 1-1 one, one the count. Pitch away. Called ball, 2-1 now the count with two outs, two runners. Kessler on first, Ents on second. Ends teasing the pitcher a little bit. Pitch away. Ball's going to be knocked go. over to the gap. Left field. Ents making a run for it. No, he stops. He decides to go back to third. Now we've got the other scenario we talked about, RJ. We've got bases loaded with Bo Blankenship, Mr. Consistency, up to bat. It's all on the line. Ball game is in Bo Blankenship's hand at this point. Yeah, I mean, you either get an out here or you walk them. That'll score one. You you really just got to get it. Uh, you know, it's away. 
called strike. 0-1 the count with two outs. Bases again loaded. They need a horse out, a strikeout, or something here. Fly out, something. Just got to get Pitch it Pitch away. Way outside. 1-1 one, one now the count. Definitely can't walk him here. <laughs> Pitch away. Again, called ball. 2-1 now the count. We're in a tough spot here. And, and, you know, it is. It's a tough spot for... For both the pitcher and for Bo. Pitch away. Going to be fouled away. That's going to bring the count to two and two with two outs. But even if we don't score, it's going to go extra inning. So no, no damage done if we don't. Next pitch away. Way low. Full count. This is, this is where this it's is, at. This is the storybook ending. Bases loaded, full count. You got Mr. Consistency up to bat for the Leopards. Don't touch that dial, folks. We're one pitch away. Ball's in the air. That's going to score one. And he yeah. knocks it into the gap. That'll score, Caleb Yance. Ball game's over. Leopards win it. Four to three. Congratulations, Bo Blankenship. You just won the ball game. And with that being said, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. 